In this video, we're going to review a way for you to delete documents out of eClinicalWorks. This is a capability we recently turned on for all the providers. Bear in mind that if you delete a document and then find that you later need it, it's going to be your responsibility to go relocate it um, from the hospital or the lab or wherever it came from. I'm going to show this in both the executable version and the browser version, and I will tell you ahead of time, the browser version makes it much more efficient. So to start with a less efficient executable version, here you can see I have five documents in my D jelly bean, and I've decided I don't want them or I don't need them. So I'm going to delete test page five. Now notice there's these checkboxes here, but in this screen, they don't do anything. You can just view the document, they're, they're unhelpful. So I'm going to click on test page five to open that up in the patient's documents eventually and you can see the document here now what you need to do is open patient documents which you can do from this screen or if you happen to be in the patient's hub the same link shows up as well either way click on patient documents and we'll open up the list and here they are one two three four and five in this case i want to delete test page five i'm going to right click on it and from the menu that appears select delete are you sure yes i am now I could delete some more right here if I wanted to, but I'm not going to for now. I'm going to close the window, and then I'm just gonna hit OK, and this goes away. And now you can see there are now four documents. Once the D jelly bean refreshes, then you can see that there are in fact four. If these were all different patients, this would be fairly tedious because I would have to open the hub or the D jelly bean for each one of these and then delete it individually. But the executable version gives you an added capability here. So I'm going to flip to the D jelly bean on my browser version. I'm going to refresh it so that it knows what change I just made. And now you can see the four documents and I could click on it the same way that I did before. There's one page on the document. This happens to be the page. Notice there's a garbage can up here, but this is just for deleting individual pages out of a multi-page document. It won't let you delete the last page when you try this happens seems like a silly function that's what it is uh, never mind because instead we can simply click the box or boxes of everything you want to delete or we'll just click all of them and then there's this wonderful little delete button here and it will delete everything that i have checked are you sure i certainly am click it and it is gone all four of them when i refresh the jelly bean window or uh, count you can see it's negative when we go back to the executable version and refresh it here as well, you can see they are all gone, it is empty. So in that way, you can delete multiple documents from the screen, even from different patients. Again, bear in mind that if you chuck it and later need it, you're gonna have to go find it somewhere. That is it, let me know if you have any questions.